Hello, good morning. I'm with Oliver from Wynick, is the head of Central Marketing. Oliver, how are you? I'm perfect. Thank you, Apadim. Okay, Oliver, my first question would be, it seems like, uh, you know, we are, we are most of the time working from home or in a different, in a shift basis, we are working from office because still we are going through the pandemic effect of the virus. So how, how Wynig is handling the situation? Oh, I think we have a, we have a good concept uh, to handle this, uh, the situation. So here in the offices, uh, a lot of people uh, are able to do home office. And uh, also in the, in the production, we have uh, uh, regulations that uh, the people are not too close to each other. So we have the, the, the necessary distance. Uh, also, we are working in shifts uh, for some, in some uh, departments. And also here in our marketing department and product management, uh, we have our so solution is that we have uh, two people in the office. Normally we have four in, in one office. So we have two in the office, two in, in the home office, and they are exchanging uh, day by day or week by week. So that there's still some, some life within the offices. I, th I think this is very important uh, because if, you, if you're staying at home for a long time and working from home, you're losing the social uh, component of work. So it's very important to keep in, be in real contact, to see the people and however, always with the, with the distance you need, uh, but the situation here is pretty good. That's, that's very important. So that's your internal precaution you have taken in the Wynig office. And as you said, I totally agree. Like if you work long time in office, you miss your uh, long time from home, you miss your office space, you miss interacting your colleague and a machine manufacturing company, it's not possible working long time from home office, I believe. Okay, Oliver, so what is the status now of the production in Wyoming? Uh, the status is, is, is uh, recovering. Of course, the, the, they are not, or the, the orders are, are reduced. So as it was uh, before the crisis, uh, but we are still getting orders uh, for smaller machines as well as for huge projects. So uh, the production and, and, and also design and so on, we are all having work enough. Well, this question I'm asking all the machinery company because it's very important is the supply chain, which is the, the, the framework of any manufacturing company. And because of this pandemic, that is maximum hit by this uh, global pandemic. So how you are taking this challenge? How you are coping up with this challenge? Mm. Uh. However, it, it was not a huge challenge uh, for us. So, so all the, the supply chain has been stable. We have uh, different uh, suppliers, so we can switch uh, on the one hand. And also, our, uh, we are producing a lot of our parts we are producing on our own. So we are not depending on uh, worldwide uh, supply, supply chains. So this is, at the moment, a, a huge, not at the moment, it's always a huge uh, positive thing, uh, because then you are the head of your quality and you're not depending on any of anyone else. So especially now in the crisis for us, it's a, it's a huge uh, advantage. Well, that's a really, really good to know. That's a really important for any business on the production. Well, yeah. as we know, because of this situation, most of the international trade show in Germany, Italy, all over in Europe, rather all over in the world is canceled. Mm -hmm. So that's a B2B business uh, trade shows are one of the most important marketplace. So how you manage this situation and do you have new strategy? Yes, of course we have. So first of all, uh, it hits, hits us really hard not being on exhibitions uh, because exhibitions is, is, is like, like the, the blood in the veins. Uh, it's good to see the customer, to have discussions, to have a uh, new experience. Uh, so, so this, this, I would say one of the most important uh, marketing tools uh, in our businesses uh, we lost for this year. So that's pretty sure. Uh, however, this brings up new chances. So instead of uh, yeah, making huge shows, uh, we try to, to uh, collaborate or to, to be in contact with our customers uh, in different ways. And uh, digitalization gives us uh, so, so good chances uh, therefore, so we are promoting uh, products via the web. Uh, we can use uh, uh, Facebook, for example. We are doing live streams 
uh, uh, on Facebook where we explain our machines, where we can interact uh, with our customers or our customers can interact uh, with us. Uh, what we are also doing, we are bringing our showroom to our customers. So meanwhile, we are able to make machine presentations. Uh, so let's say the, the customer is a director. He says, okay, show me this machine, show me this spindle, show me this wood, show me this result. And we are doing this and he's at home. Also our sales salespeople are uh, at home and we can manage this all uh, via uh, uh, conference tools. Wow, that's, that's really interesting. How much a webinar is helping you to make aware of your product or explaining the technology to your managed or unmanaged customers? Yeah, especially the, the webinar tools are quite good and we have to make a difference between internal and external. So even for internal training, we can use the time uh, to train our sales staff to, to, to uh, inform them about the latest technology, to update them in general. So uh, in my region I'm coming from, we say nothing is as bad that it doesn't have something good. So it's time we don't have, let's say we can't, our, our sales team can't travel. So they're at home, they are in contact with the customers, of course, but uh, they can spend the time for training, for training themselves. So our, our, our sales team, uh, uh, we trained our sales teams the last two months extremely, all via webinar tools, via direct uh, speech. Uh, so, so these are huge opportunities we can use now. Yes, since like uh, web, webinar and you know, like the Zoom call and training online is a uh, new normal. So do you, do, you, do you plan something to continue this process even everything goes normal for the future? Yes, of course, of course. I think uh, uh, internal things like internal training, we can do much better and more cost effective uh, with, with online tools than we, if we would do it uh, on site because we have to travel sometimes all over the world, so we are a global organization. Uh, so this brings us good, good opportunities in, in costs. And uh, also uh, to be to interacting more with, with our customers via the web, uh, uh, this is a chance, we, we took the chance and we see it's, it's working. So we'll do this in the, in the future uh, also. But at the end of the day, it's very important to, be, to have the personal contact. So it's very good in pre-sales uh, uh, organization, but in the end, it's very good and uh, uh, for the customer and also for us to be in close direct contact. So this will not we will not say we do this or the other. So it must be a mix in the future uh, of both. Right, right. Uh, for the any B two B business meeting, customer directly is very important. That's why B two B shows are so important for. As you say, blood in the vein, absolutely rightly said, Oliver. So tell me something, as most of the company, they suffered a lot in, in terms of production, in terms of manufacturing, and of course the sales all over the world. How much you think this will affect the woodworking industry in Europe, in the central Europe? It already has affected, so, so the, the, the figures uh, are bad in general. Uh, but you cannot say how, how, many, how many percentage. It's, it's depending on how long the, uh, let's say, the, 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 the shutdown or the, the regulations uh, will, will take. Uh, so at the moment, it's, it's quite difficult to, to estimate what will happen. Uh, I'm pretty sure that, that uh, some small businesses will not be there in, in a few months, of course. Uh, but uh, but for companies which are which been prepared and which are preparing now for the future there are uh, huge opportunities uh, so i really believe that especially the woodworking industry has a perfect future not this year and maybe not next year but the year afterwards so it's really the, one of the best industries in my opinion you can work right definitely and since uh, recently german government uh, said like Trade shows are not under the large event, which is very, very good because now, now may say they can have their conference and B2B trade shows maybe very soon. 
So are you hopeful of that? Immediately, if they have some, you know, like we missed a couple of shows, like in Nuremberg, in Milan, we miss uh, Milan, they changed the date. So how are you hopeful on that? At the moment, I'm not sure. I think we have to, to see two different points. So the one is, thing is uh, from us as a, as a yeah, we want to sell machines. And the other hand, we have customers. And I'm not pretty sure if we, if we reopen, if we, or if we would, will do shows very soon, if customers will come to the shows. So I think this year, more or less you can forget uh, about the shows uh, and the next thing is even if they would come the customers some are financially limited now due to the crisis so they are not able uh, to invest huge amount of money so I'm I'm not so optimistic to see good shows in 2020 I, I got your view. I got your uh, idea on that because as you said, like people are now not very sure whether immediately they can travel unless and until it is emergency, it is not advised to travel immediately. So what you said is very, uh, makes sense actually. But uh, so I have a question like, as one of the leading manufacturing company, you already answered a part of this question. How much time you think it'll take to market to come back to normal? I say everything I say now will be wrong in a second. It's right. unpredictable. Uh, it's unpredictable uh, in the moment. For sure, is the longer the crisis takes, the longer it will take to recover. So there are positive effects or, or positive ways of thinking uh, that we will see whatever Q2 uh, 2021 the recovery. Other say okay uh, Q1 2022. So. I think to make a prediction now, I can't, to be honest. I can't do this. It's too and, early. And it's too early to make a prediction when the market yeah. will come back as it was. Yeah, and also if, if you have a, just if you take Germany as, as a small country or Europe uh, uh, in general, things are changing every day. So also the government, they, they loosen the regulations uh, tomorrow, uh, saying it today. So, so it's, it's, so flexible at the moment so it's 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 impossible to say something so we are all looking back uh, or looking forward that the travel restrictions in for sure in, in europe uh will go down in the 15th i guess uh, the 15th of july so hopefully from the 15th of july we are able to travel within or we europeans are able to travel within uh, europe so this will bring us really a good chance to come back to normal, uh, but worldwide, I don't know. It's it's quite quite difficult. So especially in India, India is I think it's also not not so easy at the moment. Uh, what is with USA? What is with the IWF? There are huge questions marks uh, if you see it globally. What is with Southern, uh, South South America? Right, so we, even, we don't know. Even, don't even know. I can give you, even I can't give you a, a clear answer for for Germany or Europe. So how can I give you a clear answer uh, for the rest of the world? Right, because everything, as you said, everything we, we can't predict as, as of now because everything is changing and we don't know what's happening, what's coming in near future. But one thing is for sure that we are hopeful things will be getting better and things will come back to normal as soon as possible. Well, Oliver, tell me something. You have now smart machines. So how much, what, what is the percentage of the companies or, or, or your customer, they are, adopted really this uh, digital solution or smart machines? I think it's getting getting every day more and more. So we have a lot of uh, solutions already. We, we are promoting them since, since, since years. And now it's, it's uh, really a good chance or good opportunity uh, to, to yeah, bring it to the, to the customer's minds uh, again. Woodworking industry is very, very uh, traditional. And uh, they are not. Some people are not thinking about digital transformation, for it, for example, for their for their company, uh, especially when they are smaller companies. But meanwhile, the, the mindset is changing. Uh, I would say worldwide because now they see, okay, if I would have uh, predictive maintenance, or if my machine would be connected to the manufacturer, the manufacturer has the chance even not sending a service technician out 
but uh, to 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 uh, interact with the machine and has some some idea about the the the, the, the problems on the machine. So I think we will see. Uh, hopefully at the Ligna show, uh, more and more, let's say, smart machines or smart tools. And how I said, we, we have this since years, uh, but now it's time, to, I think, uh, that the customers are really open-minded to use that. Because in the past, they always argued, argued oh, these are my data, and I would, won't allow somebody else to enter my, my, my company, but this will, will change for sure. So this is one of the positive things of the actual situation. Right, very, very, very rightly you said, because as we are the digital publication house, I understand this totally. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> However, uh, I, I, can't, I can't stop myself asking you one question as I, as I closely watch Wynik on all the social media very uh, regularly for many years. How much you increase actually your promotion, your marketing strategy, your new offers, online good I can't, I, I can't give you a, a, a clear percentage but it's growing and growing and it's growing every day and uh, and the, the positive thing is uh, uh, we have smart ideas and uh, we can we can uh, bring them to, 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 to our customers very easily so it's very good it's also a positive thing to see okay we are limited now uh, at the moment to go to our customers so what can we do to change that? And from one day to the other, we have, maybe it's not the best solution on the first step, but we have a solution. And we're developing and developing uh, uh, more and more. And also the, the quality is getting better uh, every day. Uh, one example, our first uh, uh, Facebook live stream, for example, we did with my old uh, smartphone, with my old uh, in-ear, sport in-ear. So the West was zero and the quality was quite good. It's good for social media and it's authentic. This is very, uh, very important. And we have a uh, huge amount of followers, meanwhile, uh, watching our, uh, our promos uh, on Facebook, for, for example. And yeah, in general, I think uh, this is also a good thing if you take something positive out of the, of the crisis. Uh, and we want to focus on the, on the future also more on the digital uh, or the social media channels in general. That's right. Thank you very much, Oliver. That was Oliver from Central Marketing for Wining from Germany. Oliver, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure hearing and seeing you. And I wish you all the best. <laughs>